Did the US Ambassador and Eugenie throw Harry under the bus? Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you everyone for liking and subscribing and hi to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. I've got uh, the vision, new vision, old vision tarot on the table. I'm actually going to be reading today about the um, US passenger in UK and Eugenie, Princess Eugenie. They actually had a meeting um, on the, let me get the date, on the 15th of April uh, in London and um, on the 17th of April it was announced or the paperwork was discovered that Harry backdated his US res residency uh, to coincide with um, when he got kicked out of Frogmore. And I don't believe in coincidences. And I believe that when Jane Hartley, I think her name is, the US ambassador, um, I don't think she cared when she announced it because I did see something on, may have been TikTok, but I'm pretty sure it was Twitter, that um, a UK, a, a US reporter or, or a reporter somewhere actually asked if she cared and she just shrugged. Now, what have we got? We've got the Knight of Pentacles reverse and the Knight of Wands. Hmm, Harry, Harry the Traveller. Hmm, I have, I had a feeling, especially with Eugenie, because I do know that um, that's how this one's wife got in, because uh, she befriended Eugenie through Soho House, and we have the receipts to prove that. Um, so, yeah, yeah, and I think we've, everyone has mentioned through a lot of comments that she's not trusted, she can't be trusted. Uh, she has never hid the fact that, you know, she's friends when, even when he was um, talking badly about their own grandmother. So, um, yeah, yeah, I find it um, a very entangled or very tangled web that they weave between them all. So what I'm testing the cards out, is we are oh look at that oh queen of swords and the devil reverse oh wow oh wow any other cards while i'm at it wow interesting all right cards what i'm actually inquiring is uh, the energies around the U.S. ambassador of UK and Princess Eugenie and uh, just how involved are they with Harry's uh, visa issues, which to me I believe is um, an A1 v uh, visa that is under, which is something that I explained in my IPP reading last week. So yeah, after this, go back and have a look if you haven't seen that already. It clearly explains that he, um, and more so now, that we've got confirmation that um, his residency is now US. Um, US taxpayers have been paying for his security, just putting it out there. And I better throw in allegedly too, but I'm pretty sure that's how it all works. And uh, yeah, this Jane Hartley didn't care, so, uh, or ab appeared that she didn't care, you know, like Harry's protected. Uh, which is uh, the court case, obviously, in the UK. So cards, yeah, energies around. Princess Eugenie, the uh, US ambassador, and darling boy, Prince Harry. All right, very dark times, very dark times. The lovers reverse. Oh, dear. I forgot how graphic these cards are. Sorry about that. Okay. Oh, they're not very happy families. The Queen of Cups. And there's, um, yeah, 
three people partying, or there were, there were three people involved. I have a feeling that now um, that I'm really convinced that he backdated that, that paperwork that he had to lodge because it was overdue anyway. Um, with travellers, I believe he backpacked, uh, backdated that, that date. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, something went down the wrong way. I would have edited that out. Okay, so we're talking about things being backdated. Um, I, I strongly agree, I strongly believe that, entertainment purposes only, um, that they were involved. There's three people here involved, but they um, <coughs> distancing, oh, excuse me, distancing themselves um, away from things uh, because, you know, now the heat's on, like all of a sudden prying eyes and, you know, mainstream media and everything, they're all, all on top of it. Um, very interesting here that you've got the Queen of Cups. Um, it's neither Eugenie or this Jane Hartland. Hart, Hart Lee, Hart Lee, sorry, uh, just say the ambassador, okay, it's, it's neither Eugenie or the ambassador, it may be indications of Harry using Princess Di, I don't know, this is interesting that this card will come up, I don't know how close she is or if she was with um, Princess Di, she's, you know, but the woman's I don't know, in her 70s anyway, so there's a chance that, you know, she could voluntarily have known Diana. Uh, that would be interesting. I might Google that after this reading and find out. Um, or it's Camilla. I'm pretty sure Camilla wouldn't be worried about, you know, Darling Boy's visa. I think he's doing enough damage without her needing to go in and try and help and, and all the nasty things he said, I doubt if, if she'd want to help anyway. So uh, this would indicate some sort of an association with Diana. Uh, from then onwards, of course, we've got unhappy families. Uh, we've got uh, trouble and, and really bad um, crossroads and, and some sort of choice that was supposed to have been made. Uh, I wonder if they were supposed to have split up. I still believe they do, but he's decided to, uh, you know, stay together for the brand, you know, doing the Hollywood thing, you know, where they they pretend that they're all lovey-dovey for 10 years and then just bring it on you and then turn around and go, oh, my bad, yeah, it, you know. I mean, Hugh Jackman did it. Um, Jada and Will Smith did it. Um, you know, so many Meryl Streep, yada, yada, yada. So, you know, it, it appears to be the trend these days that that's what you do. I'm convinced that they too are doing this, uh, the gruesome twosome are doing this, uh, especially the amount of times that we pull this kind of card. Um, and, of course, it's very, very dark times with the sun that's uh, no coming back really, you know, or going backwards one or the other. Whoops, no, 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 sorry. A little bit too engrossed in this reading, getting carried away with the type of reading I was doing. Right, so we now have the Two of Swords rever uh, upright. We've got the Seven of Pentacles reverse. We've got the Three of Pentacles upright. And that is saying that there was they were working nicely on a plan with this queen of cups okay or about this queen of cups mm. i wonder and someone that's not involved with them anymore but it clearly states that they they were working together it with the uh three of cups mm. Then you've also got the uh, Seven of Pentacles reverse, and that is, um, you know, something something that they did didn't 
come to fruit or and there was money involved here um it didn't come to fruit or it cost a lot of money but it didn't go anywhere uh or it went bad you know like when things don't work you know like the tree dies kind of thing because it wasn't watered or whatever um very very interesting because this is on top of the the happy family so they i think they wanted to create the illusion entertainment purposes only of this all this happy families thing and um yeah it, it it just didn't work and and it cost them a lot of money it cost them money definitely money that didn't go anywhere with the uh two of swords well this is your double choice this is being in denial um i wonder if it was all based on the relationship all based on the relationship and the charades this ambassador i think really did force his hand um especially with the nine of swords which is the attack on the internet here um or, or actually it's it's from the the main media um which i think it was sky i saw it on uh yeah so you know we're talking mainstream now uh with this night and um yeah, they seem they seem to think that they, this decision of Harry's to declare his residency is a win, but it's not. It's not a win according to the cards with the Ace of Swords and the Knight of of Cups. Well, the surprise with the Nine of Cups was obviously someone had leaked out the paperwork. Well, it wasn't really leaked. It was it was required. And in American law, of course, it is public knowledge. You know, you, you can access more information than, you know, what you could in the UK kind of thing. And I guess you could say that was a surprise uh, to some. To me, it, I wasn't surprised. Nothing surprises me with them anymore, nothing. And the way that uh, this ambassador was so blasé about it um, and and. I don't believe in coincidences. So, you know, I mean, even you saw um, Obama, he was, and this was within the two weeks extension that they couldn't find Harry's visa application. Uh, he was seen at number 10. Um, yeah, yeah, the, not coincidences. There's no coincidences to me. I, I, I'm a strong believer in in you know <laughs> what i see in my own two eyes it's not you know don't guess like me or or shred or anything like that it's 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 you know what you see believe in what your eyes are telling you kind of thing you know um a picture tells a thousand words sure you know uh so yeah of course you know you've got this new beginning here and you know it's cutting through the truth so this is this i I believe that she threw him under the bus. I don't think he wanted this information to come out um, because it has snowballed to the point that his IPP appeal that he was looking at doing, the the judges basically said, you're dreaming, don't worry, it's not going to happen. You know, maybe there's some other evidence there or, um, you know, it, it just like, don't don't even think about appealing because it's just going to waste more money and i do believe that he's also now looking at not doing something with the sun because of the costs you know um the truth is starting to come out about how harry um is manipulating people you know many many times on many readings we've seen the magician come through but it's been reversed and how they manipulate things i've got another reading i think i'll do with his mate his veterinarian mate who um is uh, canvassing uh for or lobbying for invictus which apparently is the only person um so you know i think i might do another reading on that but now that i've mentioned it because it it all seems to be all joined in into this this tangled web you know um let's just see let's just see let's just see queen of wands well there she is there she is and and you know the 74 year old yeah yeah and there's a younger 
younger person, possibly around Eugenie's, Eugenie's um, age, you know, she's just patting her on the head. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, yeah, so you've got the uh, Two of Pentacles reverse, and you've also got the Empress reverse. You've got the Nine of Cups reverse, and the uh, Seven of Wands upright. So they're defending. They're defending what they've done. And I'm talking about the three of them that are technically no more into a partnership, according to the cards. Um, you've also got the ah, Knight of Cups that is giving something back. When it's reverse, it's giving something back. So what is he giving? What is he giving? Would it be this here, this money? You know, are we talking money involved here? I mean, I find it absolutely staggering because you've got money here as well, juggling with the two of pentacles. I find it absolutely staggering that, you know, that's how people in high places do money. Um, yeah, I've got to be careful how I say things. <laughs> even even saying allegedly, I've still got to be careful how I say things. But, um, you know, should, what's he going to give back? You know, what is he going to give? You know, he got something, so he's he's had to give something back. What kind of favour was it? You know, I guess we could say they're defending it anyway. They're defending it, or she definitely did. She defended it. She just sort of like shrugged her shoulders. She really, she really, really didn't care. She just said that, you know, her government, who is the uh, Biden government, um, yeah, he's protected. And she really didn't care about the consequences. So you've got the seven of uh, cups here. So here's the seven deadly sins washing through this. And we've got the uh, full reverse. You've got the chariot reverse. The queen of pentacles here. The four of uh, four of pentacles and carrying forward from the seven of one. So someone's keeping something close to their chest. Now, we've got the Queen of Pentacles here. Now, who could that be? Who could the Queen of Pentacles be? Hmm, it's the same as the Queen of Cups. You know, are, are we involving families here? Now, I do know that on the A1 visa, yes. You know, Doria is, um, is covered under the A1 visa, is protected under the A1 visa. Is the association through Princess Dia? We, because we've got two mother cards here on the table. With someone that's been very, very foolish and the chariot reverse. And do I call it? Do I call it that it's William that's not very, very happy? Or someone was foolish and had to literally backpedal and, um, yeah leaking leaking out stuff i would say that's probably closer to the truth i don't think williams are involved in this at all um because you've got the seven deadly sins here you've got the seven of cups so there's all these options and they're all gaslighting and and smoke screens and and even here you can see all the smoke here you know um yeah and you know it's it's confusing people and you know, they don't want to make the choice. So I would say, I would say that it, that they, she was foolish to have done this, again, entertainment purposes only, to have said it. And she's probably backpedaling a bit because now there's, like I said earlier, there's people around, there's people around 
uh, like me talking about it sorry talking about it um you know what why you know why it's not a coincidence why you know um and eugenie as well being involved now she's too young to be a queen uh she would be more she will be, be more than nine of wands which we saw when i was reversing uh I sort of expected the seven of and um, and um, swords to come out, but it doesn't surprise me with the seven of of chalices anyway. Mm, let's just do one more time and see if I can find one more information about where we're going. What was the energies around it? There we go. There we go. We've got a little bit deep diving. We've got the uh, unhin unhinged and unchained um, devil at play now with a burden at home, lots of in-house bickering and fighting and mayhem. And uh, all they want to do is, is just, you know, show their love show their love to the whole world you know come and offer their love and yet behind the scenes you've got all this um chaos and mayhem and bedlam yeah yeah it's it, it's all the smoke screens it's all gaslighting the whole lot's gaslighting uh did she throw them under the bus and uh you know well the cards will say that maybe they had a falling out and that's one of the reasons why she, I mean, she's a clever woman. You know, she's had thousands, millions of interviews, you know, with various people. She wouldn't have just let it slip without a reason. And this was this was the reason I'd say she's got, had a falling out. Um, but there's definitely working hard at it, definitely working hard at whatever the main purpose was. Mm. interesting with the two mothers very very interesting very very interesting i think it's what it is what we saw with her on on the interview is what it was it wasn't a coincidence it's, it's just she didn't care she said it for a reason she definitely said it for a reason but it was to gaslight and smoke screen something. And just maybe, just maybe, because they knew that the, you know, time to change the narrative, but I don't think she has helped his visa um, problems in the US. I don't think she's helped at all because she's pretty much confirmed She's pretty much confirmed that um, he's protected. Mm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I might have to follow up on this. I've got some other readings anyway. So, yeah, let me know um, by the time I get this uploaded and and, and uh, scanned and everything. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think and uh, if there's any more news that's hit the hit the rounds before you know because there's so much time between us uh sometimes hmm very interesting indeed okay well i hope you follow me over to another reading and uh in the meantime please like and subscribe and i'll see you again soon thank you bye